Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today I'm kind of hoping that the saxel trees might be grown, I don't know, we'll see. Still nothing. Okay, okay, so my firepower generator has completely run out of fuel, although I didn't check it. And my... Horse has run out of food. Got a few bits and bobs of things. Um, let's check on Doodles. Doodles doesn't have any food either. We'll put a few potatoes in. Give him a hat. Clean up. The produce. Done. Lovely. Okay, so I said today that we were going to need to get some steel bars. Uh, some steel for the steel bars. So let's send Meerkat out on a dig as well. You look very happy to be doing that. Go on, off you go, you cheeky chappies. So, looking at my pets. Um, so now I can actually refine my social by... I can actually refine it by um, associate. I can see all the associate level ones. I can then see all of the um, buddy to friend level ones. And then I can see all of the best friend level ones. So stranger up to buddy, and then buddy and above, and then anyone that's a BFF. Any sweethearts, any family, and then I can see all my pets and see how they're doing. So Nemo is, is close, Macchiato is familiar, Banjo is familiar, and Meerkat's familiar. So we'll see what happens when we get onto that fourth call, see what that means. But uh, for now, I'm just going to keep sending them on their little quests, and over time, they should sort of like that. I've never given Macchiato a scorpion. Or if I have, they don't like it. I think I may have given them... Yeah, I think I may have given Macchiato a scorpion and it wasn't enjoyed. I'm almost certain of that. But all the others love scorpions. So there we go. So yeah, I think they're quite enjoying their lives. Little cuties. Uh look if there's any outstanding missions no not at the moment there's request board ones let's just go and see if the porridges are done we'll give those into pen then i need to go and get fluorite on my way past so let's go get um i think it's three pieces of fluorite so we can get rid of that horrible quest from from uh crystal Let's post in the post box. Let's see what that's all about. On the research center, my industrial ma machine tools are done. Okay. Nice. I'll chat to Katori. I spoke with some tourists who were just here visiting and asked them about their spending habits. Trying to do a little market research, you know? They said what they liked most is not being bothered by salespeople, then walked away. <laughs> Yikes. Oof. I get it's it, though. Like. Partner. I'm the same when I'm walking down the street and someone has to bother me, to be fair. I don't like it. Okay, what I was doing is completely fell out of my head now. So I'm just going to go and hand this commission in. Pen. Commissions are clearly the way ah. to go. Oh yeah, the egg custard. Thank you. As you can see, I'm in much better condition than when I wrote that commission, which means I've already passed my recovery period and these will soon be sick gains. Rejoice, for the protein you provided will soon be my muscle tissue. Mostly in the butt. <laughs> 40... What? Wow, those cooking ones. Yowzers. That is so good. Let me 
check that everybody that's still kind of kind of on the low side of things, stranger to buddy. There's three people I haven't met yet. I'm guessing they'll move in later. I don't think there's anybody around the place that I haven't met. So I'm guessing they're people that just haven't arrived. Okay. So. There were two people showing on the picture. No, there were three actually. So I know which one one of them is. One I think might be the mysterious man. Because it looks like he's got a pack on. And the other one I think I might know as well. So I think I might know who's missing. And if that's the case, if that is the case of the, who those people are, then yes, they are later game. So that's fine. Uh, chi. Egg custard. Chi. Research. What if we get oh, well attacked? Good day. Day. Good day. straight past. Then more iron. So I will put the next research on. So if I do the Super Jew Collector, I completely finish this page, which might be quite nice to do. However, something like a better cooking station might allow me to do better commissions. An advanced work table would be quite good too. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to go for. That's the most likely that they're going to be like, Oh, you need this right now for this quest. Ha ha ha. So I think I'll do that. Then I'll maybe do something like the cooking station. Then the jewelry tailoring forging. Super Jew collector at some point. make some egg custard and then go and do some mining and make sandy sand hats egg custard and sand hats right, Coco you are the last one I need the last pet that I do not have yet Ooh! I'll also chat to you I've got a bit more time now I'm not having to run around run around run around so Come on, Coco. You've got to be my friend soon. Surely. This has got to happen, right? Oh, my goodness. Jasmine, Ernest, and Pablo are all there as well. I should go and play Critters with all three of those. Ernest, Jasmine, and Pablo. Or just try and take a commission for one of them at least as well. See what commissions we have now because I right petrified wooden stick is always one to take fish porridge for a mirror fish porridge is such a good one so I will take that as much as it means I have to sand fish all the time it only takes a couple of minutes and it really does give you a lot of social points so there's nothing here else that gives social points like that except for maybe like the iron plates, fast iron rods. And honestly, cast iron rods gives you more points for the rocky, gives you more money. And so does the iron plate one. One petrified wooden stick. I'm going to take that for Owen instead of Heidi because um, I'm behind on Heidi's stuff. Oh, sorry, I'm more behind on Owen than I am with Heidi. So. Okay, the wall cloth is done so the spear can be started on. That one's a really nice uh, amount of money I get back from it. How close am I to 
36k, so I'm 14,000 away from increasing the size of this yard, which is the next thing I'm trying to work on. I have a load of things that need to go into the... Oh, that was useless. I have a load of things that need to go into the museum that I didn't put in. So I'm very silly. And then we need to go get a whole bunch of iron. And I, while I'm looking for iron, um, I will probably be looking for some relics as well. We're looking to finish off like the golden eagle, I think. This is not the museum. Just been in here. Don't need to do research for another few days. Ugh. Oh, I've got a picture for Mort as well. Okay, I'll put these in the museum and then I'll go give Mort his picture and then we'll go and dig stuff up. Oh, it looks like there's a festival coming up as well. Possibly the... Donate. How are we up? We are up to 23. Seven more and I'll be up to 30. 90 donations to get the antique billboards. Wow. 500 game tokens. <laughs> Good grief. What do you even get for game tokens? Like, do you get anything good? I'll check in a bit, but... Festival tokens, yes, you definitely get good stuff. Mort, I have another picture. I would like to know another little chunk of story Hello about again, the town. young one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That there, huh? It's an old photo of mine you found, isn't it? To think... My old photos might all be out there somewhere. May I have it? Aha. Uh -huh. yes. This photo was taken oh. around the time when little Zeke first arrived in Sandrock. He was a small young lad at the time. Who knew he would grow I know, he's heights? massive now. We found him lost in the desert, separated from his clan during one of our trips to build a straw grid up in the northern reaches of the Eufaula. We had intended to help him find his kin. But the desert had other plans. There are a lot of small villages that have been sort of completely wiped out by raiders, by sandstorms, by all sorts in the sort of outskirts of Sandrock. So it's not unusual for a, a small village around there to be completely wiped out. So Martel and I raised him as our own, taught him the ways of this land. My wife was very proud of him. I think to her, he was even more precious than the Oasis. Oh, so he was like their son. That's something I did not know at all. This is a cherished memory. Thank you for finding it, young builder. I don't suppose, since there are probably more photos of mine out there, if you ever chance upon more, could you bring them to me? <laughs> then I'd be a happy fly, if I live or if I die. Okay. I will certainly try. My little fly. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I head into a clinic actually and give a gift to Fang maybe. I need to not forget because I don't have reminders in that Fang like exists. Um, okay. <laughs> there are so many herbs and ingredients in each of the little drawers. Fang probably has the layout memorized. Wow. Right then, off to the gecko ruins. I'm gonna cheat and take the yakmel up there, I think. I hope we get some news on those saxel trees soon. I'm starting to worry because of that uh, that Wednesday yesterday when it was like hey uh by the way something is blocking another cutscene from happening and then there was no cutscene and i was like oh no it 
please don't have happened to have fallen on the wrong day. I wonder if I can... Uh, I can't check them. They look kind of same as when I planted them, really. I mean, it is still saying, I think wait for them to mature, so that's all I can do. Now then, I think I want to go back a little bit, so I want to go to where the golden eagle is and start working on the golden eagle before I do any more Ozdak dancing statue ones. So I want to then get all four of those after I get the golden eagle, and then there's two more to find right at the bottom. So a lot, to, a lot still to find, but not awful. I'll buy a pass and head in. Because we desperately, desperately need lots and lots and lots of iron ore. So not necessarily manganese, it's going to be all pyrite today. Pyrite and ruin searching. Relic searching even. I've got a thing about calling relics ruins right now. Fiber mesh. I know I don't have much fiber mesh because I kind of ran out the last time I needed it. So that might be one to do. More fiber mesh. So I've grabbed a bit of that, so I don't need probably to get much more of that now. I'll head through. And we're looking for anything Golden Eagle. And I think it's Golden Eagle 2, 3, and 4. Always up for an advanced toolbox. Really nice stuff. Probably get the most pyrite if you're just literally looking for pyrite and you're not looking for relics at the same time. But probably get the most on level one where you don't have other things in the way. But I'm slowly going through and trying to look for other stuff. I don't have to find all the relics at the end. What I may have to do at the end, though, is a few runs through some of the uh, breach and all that sort of thing, and because relic bags are going to be needed for quite a bit of stuff. I wonder what's at the end of this. No, just a door you can't go through. Okay. Just checking. It might have been something fun. Might have been a secret room. we got here then fiber mesh so i'm not i'm not going to dig for that anymore i've got a few pieces if i need more i'll come back in microchip i've got plenty of those right now advanced toolbox microchip fiber mesh golden eagle piece five which i think i already have let me check what i already have make sure make absolutely sure that five isn't something that i shouldn't be leaving behind uh golden eagle Piece five and piece one, so yeah, two, three, and four. Nope. Let's head for the door then. I always love dropping through a floor. Always feels kind of daring. <laughs> feels kind of like, what am I even doing? And then you come at you drop down, as if you've dropped down. But there's a door behind you that you've clearly come out of as well. Kind of crazy. Really, Golden Eagle Piece 5 is in that vending machine. Couldn't have been any of the pieces I don't have, could it? No. Hydraulic rod. I kind of feel like I should take a few of those, because I've got a feeling that at some point I'm going to need them. And they'll be the sort of thing I just don't have. And it might be nice not to have to come all the way out here just for one hydraulic world. A little bit. 
These levels are so difficult to find anything decent on because there's just not that much like sand to dig in. A few bits down on the next level. Advanced toolboxes and stuff. Hey. I'd find it easier than that. Ow. Definitely not that one. <laughs> Why did they think this was a good idea? <laughs> Why? I just want my golden eagle. I don't want to get electrocuted. So that is Oz Ozdak Sun Worship Statue Piece 1. I do think that that might be one that I don't have. Seems as I've gotten halfway through getting that anyway. More pyrite! there then. Hydraulic rod. Sun worship statue part two. I have gone too deep I think. I'm finding really cool stuff but I'm not finding the particular one I'm looking for at the moment which tells me I've gone too far. But since I can see other parts of this statue I may as well try and get it. Piece two, dancing statue, dancing statue, piece three. Okay. I think it might only be a three piece relic as well. Let's have a look how well I've done with that then, at least. Um, not done very well with that golden eagle thing. But, the dancing statue I might have completed, I don't know. Yeah. Sun worship, one, two. I'm missing three. Alright, found some good stuff there then. I'm guessing there's somewhere else that I can find more, maybe more astronaut pieces or something, I don't know. And there's two, there's three pieces missing there. Look, as if I'm missing something from the you foul a salvage, but it can't be. It's got to be from somewhere else, surely. That's that's probably all the like the next couple of ones, and these are the relic bags. This looks like gecko, but then the art museum piece, which was found in you fowler. So they are a bit mixed up. Eh, whatever, I guess. We'll work it out. But yeah, the Golden Eagle was not on this floor at all. So I'm looking for Sun Worship Piece 2. Piece 3, sorry. And this is all dancing statues. Sun Worship Piece 2. Okay, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna go back to 
five. It's five and six that have those golden eagle pieces. And as I've loaded in here, I've actually just realized um, we have something that we need to do. Do you, do you remember um, a certain telescope and a certain satellite? Yeah. We need to go do that right now. Come on, Chestnut. We gotta go to the to the science center. Quick, quick, quick. So I'll come back later and I will do more searching for relics and I'll do more searching for other things. But at the moment, I think we need to get over there and do that. I'm hoping Chi won't mind that we're late because I've just remembered. Ah. Get me over there, please. Fingers, fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And then any iron that I managed to get while I was in there, which I think was quite a bit, um, I shall have to... Let me see. Which way are we going this way? Uh, yeah, so any iron that I managed to get uh, while I was in there, I shall have to make sure I... Yeah, it still looks like it's there. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be all right. Oh, no, I can't believe I've got that. You're here. Good timing. Phew. The satellite will pass overhead shortly. I've configured the telescope. I've also attached an SLR to allow direct imaging. We can take photos for further analysis. We still have some time before the satellite arrives. Let's test out the telescope first. Test I the hope telescope. we can see some constellations. The electric sheep pigeon and duelist's glove. Stargazing is a great activity to do while dating or hanging out. In a single player, you can only look at the constellation map. While dating or hanging out, when you start stargazing, your companion will say which signs they want to see and you can try and find them. When looking for constellations, remember to move the viewpoint around. If you think you've found the right constellation, switch to the locator to verify. Looking for pigeon. That one could almost have been pigeon. It's not quite there, is it? tail on it. There's so many of them. I've only got like a minute to find it. Oh, I think it might be this one. Yes! Gosh, that was hard. Okay, so... Oh, electric sheep is like there, right above. I see that straight away. Dualist's glove. Looks like it's got like three sticking out. I'm gonna run out of time because it took me so long to find pigeon. The image quality is vastly superior, no? The clarity allows for much more precise imaging for the stars. Can you tell me about you the know, stars? Interestingly, when people believe they are wishing upon shooting stars, they are actually wishing upon rocks falling and burning up in the atmosphere. Stars do not shoot. It is a common misconception. What else do you wish to know? Perhaps an overview of the constellations? I will not peddle astrology, but I know a thing or two about astronomy. This one? According to numerous studies, the swan was originally a constellation that was used to guide sailors across vast distances. They could follow the movement across the skies to orient themselves. What else do you want to know about? The scale. Ah, interestingly, the scientific name for this constellation is Galatian Major, which is a rare instance of the scientific name and the layman's name aligning. What else do you want to know about? The bear. This was the first constellation I learned of. I was four at the time. This was a rare instance of scientific knowledge being shared from my parents rather than my grandfather. Much like this one, it would have helped them as they were out fishing, providing a point of reference. 
What else do you want to know about? Excellent. Interestingly, although we group these stars together in named constellations, they are in fact separated by tens of light years. That's enough for now. The scavengers should be here any moment. Many people only have vague understanding of the stars. Distinguishing them requires practice. I'm okay. certain you will find no. more next time. We got it. Many people only have vague understanding of the stars. Distinguishing them requires practice. I'm certain you'll find them more next. <laughs> Perfect. It's a lot clearer than I thought. Take a look here. This has to be the satellite's antenna. It's completely intact. It might even be transmitting. We should make it one of the few working satellites remaining. If only we had a working receiver to downlink the scavenger's signal. Think of what we could learn. Ah, but I shouldn't be too greedy. We just installed an equatorial mount and now a camera too. It's already a huge step forward. Since we're on the subject though, let me tell you about a paper I read a few days ago. The sampling of digital control technologies of the old world. What a read. Oh, digital control technology. Yes, the antenna on the satellite is one such digital controller. I might have mentioned it a bit last time. Uh, here are the details though. See, people of the old world had hundreds of thousands of satellites up there in the sky. Most of them were destroyed on the day of calamity, but a few should have survived. Now, we've lost most of the communications technology of that period. I mean, we're using wireless telegraphs while they used quantum entanglement, which I don't even have a clue what it means. It just sounds so advanced. My hobby of observing satellites and space stations is my way of trying to connect the dots. If we're able to communicate with these machines, we might be able to recover much of the lost technology. Of course. You finally understand now. Teaching is a lot of work. You're a good teacher. Thanks. You're welcome to talk to me about anything you're unsure about or interested in. I'll do my best to explain thoroughly. You know, I used to deflect from social situations. But it seems, in fact, that simulating scientific conversation can be had. Interesting. It's getting quite late. Let's call it a night. I need to rest too. And me too. It's getting, yeah, very late. Okay, let's head to bed. That was good. I'll get some, if I can, uh, I don't know where my horse went. Uh, if I can get some stuff going on the... <laughs> there, apparently. That's no good. Uh, on the furnaces before bed, that will be even better, but I don't know if I'll have time, especially because my horse got stuck. And that means I can't ride it. it means I've got to run, and that's really slow. Oh, look at all my pets. And they're all the same colour, aren't they? <laughs> all the pets in this are the same colour. They're all like a brownie colour. Alright, let's get going with this steel. It will help me very much with Katori's requests for her gaming center. So that will be amazing. And let's head straight to bed so that my eyes can be beautiful and fresh in the morning. Um, so even though I didn't do that amazingly with the relics, I did okay with getting some iron at least, which was actually the main reason I went across there in the first place. Team selection for the showdown at high noon has ended. No one told me I had to sign up to that. <laughs> How are you? I just wanted to thank you again for helping me find those photos. Losing them made me realize those memories are everything to me. Now, okay. my new album is nearly half full. I can't help but wonder, will we really find them all? I hope so. There was also a letter tucked away in the old one. Mm, never mind about that. If you see any more of those photos, please do let me know. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. <laughs> My, your workshop is flourishing. This generation, <laughs> you really are something. My workshop is jam-packed. I think there's only one photo left, but you've done enough, really. Because of you, I've been able to see my life slowly flash before my eyes. Few have had such an opportunity. Now that to me looked like possibly two cutscenes in one. So maybe Mort was meant to come to me before. Don't know. Ah. That well that would be the last one then, wouldn't it? This photo was taken not that long ago. Mason built that water tower by the oasis. 
Look at how tired he is in this photo. Must have been a lot of work. People were discouraged back then. It's fortunate that Matilda and Miguel came around to inspire a bit of hope. Not only did they inspire us, but they got behind projects that promoted the conservation of nature and water. What's that phrase they're always spouting? Conserve water. In any case, they made sure we always had enough to drink. But the desert is still growing, and soon everything will have dried up. Though I may not live to see it. People are leaving Sandrock again. <laughs> Only old fools like me are stubborn enough to stay. Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. Well, you said there's only one left, so I think that might be the last one. I don't know. Or maybe there'll be one more that's like some kind of final photo that I meant to find. From City Hall, the 19th is the day of the bright sun. Don't forget, if you want to join the celebration festival, you'll need to hand in your gift at City Hall before the 18th. On the festival itself, we'll be dropping these gifts out of the airship for all to enjoy. Okay. Well, I didn't get any kind of post telling me about this. I don't think so, anyway, about this um, this fighting festival. So I'll go and have a look. I'll see if it's something I can still sign up to or not, or whether I can at least bet on the results. I'd love to sign up to it. No, I've missed it. That's so sad. That's so sad. There was literally no notification of it at all. Other than me, I, I did start to notice that things were sort of creeping up. And obviously there was a calendar notification. But normally they tell me something in the post. So, oh well. I guess... What we'll do then is we'll watch one round of it. Um, I'll try and grab it next year and also i did it every single year in the previous um let's play the ea run uh so i'll watch a round of it and you can see basically what happens um so the idea of this festival is that you and it's a shame because i miss out on the, the tokens but you can't have it all can you so the idea of this one is that you get all, all paired up and Whoever wins. I'm really sad about that. Whoever wins, wins, I guess. <laughs> whoever does the best, whoever wins the uh, the battles, wins the whole thing. Um, Trudy's got something to say. Okay, what have you got to say, Trudy? Hello. Mm -hmm. Birthday is the 21st of winter, but I don't usually have time to do anything for it. Uh, you don't need to make a note of it or anything. Okay. It, it looks like you've got something else to say. So say it. No? Okay. Let me see. What's, what's Trudy's deal then? Oh, the gift for the day of the bright sun. Okay. I want to think on that one a tiny bit more. I've got a few days. I want to think of something really good. Right, so I, you'll see what happens here. Um, so they're in teams. We've got Penn and Yan versus Grace and Hugo. If I was uh, competing, then I would be one of these teams. And what I can do if I want to, is I can bet on who I think will win. Like on this one, for example, I think Penn's going to win. Just a, just a small punch. Alright. Pen's usually quite a good fighter. Like he's taking a lot of damage. Is Pen only level 32 now? Wow. Oh, they're all the same level as me at the moment. Okay. But I think I might be right on this one. For some reason, because of Yan. Probably being a little sneakster, isn't he? So who else do I think might win? Let's see if I can get it right. 
Ernest and Pablo versus Elsie and Owen. Elsie and Owen, definitely. Zeke and Miguel versus Burgess and Arvio. Zeke and Miguel. Rena and Ambi versus Rocky and Cooper. Rocky and Cooper. And then tomorrow I'll get to bet on some more. Right, so I'm going to go and do some bits in my workshop now. And um, we'll come back later and see how how I did if I if I predicted correctly. As we don't need to sit and watch all the fights. I, uh, that's if I'm not going to be part of them, then I don't need to sit and watch them all. But yeah, like I'm very. If I did get some kind of letter or something telling me that was going on. Or if that was what the cutscene that was missed was, hey, by the way, there's going to be a fight thing and you need to sign up for it. If that was what it was. <laughs> and that might be a thing too. But I really hope that the sackful trees are done soon as well. Because I'm a little worried that that might be something that's like, that should be going on and isn't. And if that's the case, I could go on for episodes and episodes thinking, why isn't this completing? So, probably when I finish this episode, it'll be the end of the, the batch. I'll have a look at how many days have passed since we planted them. Um, because it says something like it takes five days to mature. So, if they matured, if I planted them, where are we now? So we're on the 12th, so if I planted them on the Monday, the 8th, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be tomorrow. If I planted them on a Sunday, Sunday 7th of spring, that would have been three episodes ago. I'm actually kind of interested. I'm wondering if I can find it. You can see how worried I am that something's gone missing. Okay, the fireside was on the Saturday the sixth. Go. Oh, by the way, here's some water for the trees. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, I planted them on the sixth, the Saturday the sixth, in the evening. So that should be one, two, three, four, five. That should have been yesterday. Yeah, that's that's even more worrying now. But all I can do is keep playing and see if it pops up. Or if anything has but the what may have happened is maybe it's meant to be today, but because there was a a festival or something. I don't know. I'm very confused. Maybe it's a couple more days than five. Maybe it's five starting the day after uh, you plant them. So maybe it's um, one, two, three, four, five. Then it should have been this morning, but there was a festival. So it maybe got it punted to the 14th. It's about the only thing I can think. But anyway, I have commissions to do. I will bet on all of the, the races and everything. And I will take uh, commissions where I can. It looks like I'm full up on them at the moment, though. So let's see what I've got to do. Hardwood planks. We now have 11 or 20, so I need to get some more hardwood. That would be a good thing to start with, then, wouldn't it? Just get that. But yeah, I really, I really just like having 
to worry that I've got to redo a load of recording. It really uh, does dampen my spirit a little bit. So I really hope this comes up really soon. But like I say, if it hasn't kicked in by, I would say, about Monday the 14th, I'm going to assume that there's something wrong. Um, I am ahead enough in the recording so that, that shouldn't be an issue. So I'll be very pleased if I don't have to worry about that. Let's put it that way. But that's supposed to be the nice thing about... Um, full releases and, and so far it has been so far it, there's been nothing else like really wrong other than tiny tiny bugs but the thing to that really is nice about full releases is supposed to be that you don't have to worry about like um crashes and having to be recorded and all that sort of thing so yeah a little worried but hopefully hopefully there's enough sort of um redundancies in that something stupid like fan coming to ask for a recipe shouldn't interfere with a main plot line if I'd have known that I wouldn't have done his stuff <laughs> no I still would have I really wanted to do his stuff like his stuff was really interesting okay right let's make the remaining hardwood planks then that I need um, so I have 11, I can make 8, I need 20 for the mission. So I'll make the 8. So I need um, a couple more actually. There's actually some, some hardwood scrap here. Quality wood scrap. So if I grab that, then that will probably... Give me a little bit of, uh, uh, give me a couple of hardwood planks straight off the bat. I think you do get those. There might even be some sat on the refiners. And the recyclers, no, I picked up everything from the recyclers. Okay. So it's fine wood scrap. Actually, I'll do it on the civil, yeah, oh yeah, on the civil recycler because it's faster. So with a bit of luck, by the, there's a high chance I'll get hardwood planks out of that, so that one of the hardwood planks that I need will come out of that scrap. There's a lot of other scraps to scrap down as well. So copper, copper sticks and mechanical scraps and all of this part. This is why I never need old parts. All of this scrap. This scrap. So, oh, there's some plastic scrap as well. No. That's okay. I'll get to it in a, in, in a bit. It's not an issue because plastic scrap isn't needed for any of these commissions at the moment. Okay. Wool cloth. Spear. Right, I've got the spear. That can be handed in. That's one of my commissions that I needed to do. What else do they have? Oh, the bronze sticks, of course. Fish porridge times seven. I have one sandfish, so I need to get another six. So fishing for six sandfish and five cast iron rod. Okay, so some of the iron might have gotten done while the night was going and also while I was, yeah, okay. They definitely do cast iron rods. Is that a grinder thing? No. So that then must be a processor thing. Yeah, five cast iron rods. So we'll get those done for the commission. And slowly working through the things for Katori. She's got a big list, to be fair. <laughs> She's got a huge list. So I still need another eight hardwood planks and another uh, nine iron plates. 
So let's see if I can uh, get some iron plates in behind. So that's another four. We've got iron still processing on the furnaces, so we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. So I should go and hand that spear in first then, shouldn't I? And the money is definitely building up right now. We are st are we still sat on like 34,000? 35,000. So it's another just over 10. Hang on, did they say that? Yeah, sorry, just, just under 15,000 needed. I swear I'm going backwards in how much money I have. Everyone's here at the moment, though. I can have a look at how I'm doing on my bets as well. See how see how well I know the people. Why can't I get off my horse? I was pressing F and nothing's happening. I think this must be some kind of like because of the competition here. So, um, oh no, you and Grace won. LT and Owen won, so that's great. Uh, I predicted that correctly. And at the moment, I've, I've decided it will be Zeke and Miguel. But, how are they doing? Oh yeah, they've won, okay. That round, anyway, it's it's best of three, so. Um, Justice, here's your spear. Oh, don't tell me I can't talk to people or anything in this arena. Apparently not. That's why I can't I can't interact with my horse. Anything. Okay. That's okay, I'll just work on all of the other commissions and then in the evening when this is over, I'll go and hand them all in. This is a pain. Right, so here's a, some mail, a prediction reward. I. Managed to successfully predict the winner of the showdown at high noon. Please accept this prize. So some competition badges and gold. Uh, apparently I successfully did predict it twice. I don't think I did. I thought I said that Pen would win. But okay, that's fine. I think I need to do then is to uh, once I picked up all this stuff is to head up to the sandfish pond and grab six sandfish for my fish porridge and send all these guys off on their missions. Yeah. I don't know how many. If like it's, I think it might be a maximum of three. Yeah. So you're gonna need to send three of them off. I've never had more than three pets before, so I was like, really? Sandfish. It's okay, it's just gonna be half of this episode and half of the next episode, and then, then they'll be finished doing their fights. And I will bet, bet on them all, and that'll be fine, and maybe I'll get a few festival tokens for it. Right. Does give me not competing actually does give me extra time to do commissions, I suppose. Yeah, I'm like there's part of me that's also really hoping that I there wasn't some kind of she lab stupidity involved in that, like <laughs> that I was told or I got a letter and it was in amongst a load of other letters and. 
I somehow managed to not find it. But what would make the most sense would be that because it was a Wednesday that Fan came in and I had that message about go back in and come back out of your house, which I did and then it didn't work. And then the competition was on a Friday. There's a very good chance that, that was what it was all about. And if that's the case, then I'm like, it's okay, but I'm not to blame. <laughs> got six but I think one might be a large one. I'm just gonna get one for luck. Because I don't think you can make fish porridge out of the large sandfish even though I think you should be able to make two out of that. <laughs> oh no they were all small. I'll just chop them up and make double the amount of fish porridge. Okay, I think another prediction's come in. Let's see. Did we, we did, how did we do? I successfully predicted that one as well. We're making quite a bit of money off these predictions, actually. Not too bad, is it? It's always nice when I can bet on myself. I might have to get some more of something. Yeah, I can I can make six, but I think I need seven, and I need a bit more rice. Let me double check. So, uh, right. So I need to get two fluorite from the civil core, and I need to get one thing of rice from the blue moon saloon okay rice and fluorite rice and fluorite that's not where you off to we're on a, we're going on a ride we're going to go to the blue moon saloon hopefully they should be finished by now and i should be able to start handing in my commissions as well they seem to be all walking back from the fight now see so. Thank you, Owen. I think I might have some justice up there. So yeah, it was in the in the town centre here that I could have signed up. Just didn't I must have gone past it like a million times as well. miles to find everybody now they're all in their nighttime areas Howdy. yeah there's your spear thank you very much 2,000 golds for that which when I'm say I'm trying to save up 15,000 to 2,000 is all a big way towards it what was it rice oh Oh, oh no, that was exactly where I needed to be. Get me off that horse. <laughs> this is always when I realise that I should have got done something else in the area I was in. Um, is when I crash the horse into somewhere terrible that I can't get back from. Alright, so I need... Uh, I, I'm going to get three fluorite. It's so expensive for the amount of ruin tokens that you have to spend on it. It's like... Ugh. It's like it's put in there to purposely drain your ruin tokens you get. Make you go in there more. Because I don't really want to be going through there hundreds of times. I just want to be going through there like a couple of times, get my S ranks. Please and thank you, there we go. Go in there maybe if I need to get something from there. Other than that, no. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's the bronze sticks that are perfect and need to be rare. Right, that's updated now, so that's done. The fish porridges are done. I make one more. So then that's fish porridge done. So mission, so sticks are done, fish porridge is nearly done, and then it's cast iron rods. So let's see how they're doing. Cast iron rods. Mm. Did I not do enough? I'm confused with that one. Oh, I think it's perfect. Okay, let's see what we need to do for that. Okay, that one, like, I am so done with this. I'm giving that one up. I'm so done with the, the whole, like, upgrading things and me just not noticing. So everything on here except for those iron plates is um, just an outstanding quality at the moment. So I could just take the two ones for petrified wooden sticks. Three large sand carp, perfect, already got them. Thank you. Could do that, and maybe coffee beans or something. So let me see, can I make the petrified sticks? Nah, I'll need to go and chop down some trees in the desert, but that's fine, I don't mind. If there's two things for the same thing, that's not so bad. So let's go and find Crystal and Amira and try and hand those, no, that's not, because I'll be in bed, because it's already gone midnight. Wow. Okay, so, um, yeah. This episode was a tiny bit of a dumpster fire, I'm gonna admit. I apologise for that, but I hope you still enjoyed it. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.